Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got something weird and special <laughs> So we've got the Titans Return Tidal Wave Now I knew the Titans Return line has been uh, over and replaced with the uh, Siege for Cybertron line but Yes, uh, Tidal Wave was a figure that I really wanted to get my hands on, but unfortunately it was only sold as a huge uh, pack with five other Transformers. And I wasn't interested at all at any of the other Transformers. Just I just wanted Tidal Waves. So I just finally found him. Um, someone selling it separately, so I bought it. And there he is. Obviously, there's no box because uh, the only box he comes with is with, you know, the giant box with the all the, the other Transformers. So instead, I just have the figure, the accessories, Phaethum, and the stuff, and the instruction that goes with it. So here we have the figure. So first off, we got the instructions. The instructions are a bit odd. This time around, it's just like a big poster. On one side, we've got Metal Hawk which is uh, one of the Titans Return that comes in the box with uh, Tidal Wave. But on the other side we have Tidal Wave's instructions. So he starts out as a, um, a uh, aircraft carrier, and then we move along to the robot mode, and then we move along into a jet mode. So he is a triple changer, and he does come with a um, headmaster called Phaethum. Which uh, is really nice because um, I do own the original Tidal Wave. Now this uh, is uh, my uh, Takara version. So the color might be a little bit different. Let's turn on some lights here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, like I said, this is it from the... Uh, Tidal Wave comes from the video game from PS2 era of Transformers Armada and my Transformer, my uh, uh, Tidal Wave is a little bit different in color because mine is the Takara version. The original one is pretty similar except for the uh, these parts right here in the hands which are supposed to be green. Mine are purple. I prefer the purple. This one is all purple. So uh, that's the reason why I really want this figure. <laughs> anyway, um, we do have uh, accessories, we have the um, jets for the aerial bots and you can see how big he's supposed to be when these guys are supposed to be this scale. Now unfortunately nothing is painted so eh, but these are the aerial bots that should combine into um, Superion. So if you take all of these and combine them, Superion should be eh, way big next to him. So he's supposed to be a giant titan and you can see that from this. So yeah, really awesome figure. So as for another accessory we has his gun, which is just a translucent cannon with a seat for Phaethum in it. Personally I hate translucent and this gun doesn't cut it for me, so yeah, not a big fan. If we remove the head and unfold the figure, this is the Phaethum. So originally Phaethum is uh, a minicon for him. Uh, I think mine is uh, hidden in here, in the compartment, in his arm. Yeah, there it is. Let's close it again. All right. So this is the original Phaethum. And you're supposed to uh, open the feet, unfold the arms, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, we got the original Phaethum and the Titan the Return Headmaster Phaethum. Now they don't look alike at all, uh, not even the details on them, so eh, one turns into a head, the other one turns into a jet. <laughs> but yeah, still cool that they are named together and they go along with Tidal Wave, so we just drink this, like this, and you have a tiny jet, while this one just bends over and makes a head. <laughs> Let's put this aside. So yeah, you can 
take the cannon, plug him in, and he's seating in the cannon. That's it. Yeah. Let's pick this aside. Like I said, I'm not a real big fan of the cannon, but I am a big fan of the head. If you can take a look at this, it's just such a really awesome head. And yeah, he does look like his counterpart. Let's just bring this one in and just see his head right next to him. And yeah, this looks really cool. <laughs> Focus. Yeah, focus. Yeah. Really freaking cool. Obviously, the colors aren't all right, but, yeah, still works. I really love this. So, uh, let's plug it in. Alright. So, let's give him his head back. Alright, you can sit in this play because I really love you. Alright, but yeah, Tidal Wave is a really awesome figure. So like I said, he comes from the PlayStation 2 era video game. And it was, uh, it may not be as much, it doesn't mean as much today, but back then in, on the PS2 era, uh, the, the fight is that you're fighting a Tidal Wave and you're Optimus Prime about yay big. And seeing giant bosses fight like this was so epic. <laughs> and yeah, you, you fight in the water. He's in the deepest water, so he has water until the shins, I guess. And you have to snipe his face until he gets destroyed. And it's just an amazing fight. So now we have an updated version of Tidal Wave, which is really freaking cool. So... Yeah, uh, we do have the backpack a little bit. This is molded, uh, just a repaint of the uh, broadside, Titan, Titan Return broadside, which was okay, but yeah, I, I didn't want a tidal weave. <laughs> so yeah, uh, articulation, the head does spin round and round, but it's sort of injured because of this sort of gimmick right here. And yeah, you can just, yeah, it pops out, so. Just go like this. We do have a, a arm. If you open the wing, the arm does swivel and does also pop. You know, like this, like this, swivel. I like to have the wing closed. We do have a swivel like this. Another swivel like here. We do have a elbow a elbow bend about 90 degrees, and the wrist does go in. But this is for transformation. We have nothing at the waist. The legs does the split, does the mounty. We do have a upper swivel at the thigh right here. And the knee bend uh, 95, uh, 95 degree, 85, 45, I'm gonna get it, 45 degrees. <laughs> and the feet does have a swivel like this, like front to back. And no tilt, it does go up and down, but this is for transformation. And that's pretty much it for him. So, yeah. Still a really cool figure. And just overall, one of my favorite characters from, you know, just because of this this guy. But yeah, really love the deco. Um, purple, gray, looks so badass. <laughs> So we can maybe transform him. So we got three modes. Jet, that is really bad. And the uh, uh, air carrier, which is really cool. So let's start with the jet mode, which is pretty far the worst, <laughs> worst side of it. So yeah, flip the ANC in like this. On the shoulders, there's these uh, thing intakes that needs to be opened. Remove the head. You can close this in, but mine doesn't like to hold too much, but yeah. Flip the backpack uh, open like this, and make sure the rest of the backpack stays off like this. Open up the wings, like this. And for the feet, you need to uh, bring them up like this. And on the ties, there's a peg right here, and a peg that will go inside of the thigh. 
like this. Same thing here. Plug it in, thread it down. Then you can bend these wings up, up, down. These feet need to be curled up in the back like this. In the back like this. And the arms, there's nothing to it, really. You just leave them dangling here, I guess. You can bring this like this, maybe, and kind of jiggle the arms down, but it doesn't look too great. This is really meant to be like this, and really there's nothing for the arms. You just leave them dangling there, which is uh, really bad. But, yeah, and even for the back, it's... Seriously, that's pretty much it for the jet mode. It's really bad. <laughs> there is a mod out there that you can bring these down and using these pegs right here there's a weapon that you buy that goes right here and holds the leg together which makes it look like a decent jet I guess but yeah still this is the jet mode really really bad jet mode yeah the cockpit does open and you can drop the uh, headmaster in like so, and pop it back in, and voila, really cool storage for the robot mode, but mm, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to the uh, jet mode underneath, back top, it's just a awkward, awkward jet. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, he does have three modes also. One is a spaceship battle station and he can split into three different boats. But this one stays just one part and it's just a triple changer and a bad one at this. So yeah, this was the jet mode. Uh, we can transform into boat now. So flip this down like this. Bring the arm like this down. More. I'm not too sure about this, but you know, just like this. Let them hide. Yeah, okay. Bring the so straighten up the legs, flip them over, open up the feet, open the feet, flip the legs open, like this, peg them together. If you can. Like this. These panels need to be flipped up and we'll sort of kind of tab it down like this. Bring the wings down, down, down. On the side right here, you can open up this right here. And now you have the carrier mode, which looks really damn cool. I uh, forgot the arms. Uh, yeah, the hands have a tiny peg hole and a tiny peg in there, so we'll just bring them in, plug them in. Same thing on the other side. So yeah, this makes it more stable. The wings, uh, open the wings right here and there's a stand that you can open up and then close the wing back. And there's also these uh, stands right here. And again, now we have the air carrier mode. And this is where you can use these tiny planes if you unpeg them from the sprues. And there's tiny pegs all over the boat where you can just peg in the jet on. And voila, it just stays on. It's really nice. So it's a really big air carrier. Voila. Now we have the giant air carrier mode. And also if you want, you can take the headmaster and yeah this is kind of silly but if you come right here you can close the antenna and open up this right here and this will make a seat for him so you just bend on the knees and then you can just put the headmaster in voila so you have the headmaster sitting on it's seriously it just looks like a toilet he is taking a dump on 
Yeah. <laughs> it looks really, really silly. <laughs> now, if you take uh, Tidal Wave's arm, straight this up, straight this up, straight this up, straight this up. I'm going to transform him real quick. Now we have an air carrier, which looks uh, decently alike, you know? This is one of the boats, and obviously, like I said, he does transform into other boats, so if I just remove this, flip this around, push the head in, straighten these out. Now we have a second boat, and taking this one, flip it like this, Close these in, close these in, please. Open up the wings, and now you have a third boat. So we have a uh, boat armada. <laughs> so yeah, he is a really nice boat, overcraft, air carrier thing. And yeah, he does have a special fan mode, I guess. Uh, I think you have to open this up, flip these in, and open up the wings, close this in, close this in, open up the wing, close this in, make sure these are up, flip the wings up, and open up these wings, and I think we're done. So yeah, this is a fan space ship mode. It's, uh, yeah, still cool, I guess. So it makes a giant spacecraft. It's for the, uh, how do you say, the uh, third mode of this one that needs to go like this. If you open up this and this, you can also open this up, open this up, put this in, put this in. So you have this like this, and then you open these up, plug it in, and these should go like here, right here, and now you have the giant spacecraft mode that goes with sort of like this. So uh, yeah, it, it works I guess. <laughs> It's not the best, but it works. So yeah, Tidal Wave. I really love this figure. Like, he's not the best. I understand this. He, it's the mold limitation, I guess. But he still picked a really good mold for the figure, which I really dig. The uh, figure itself is really damn nice. I love the uh, what they've done to it. Like the um. Coloring the uh, the homage, just, just the homage for the original figure, Tidal Wave, and he looks so alike, like the uh, the original one. It's just amazing how he looks. Like it. it's, I really dig this figure. Now the stickers aren't that great. There's already pre-applied stickers on him. They're not that great, especially in the, in the air carrier mode. They're if you take a look at this, this is the sticker. It feels like it just wants to fall off. It's really badly applied, especially right here on the highway. There's like 3D prints that is just badly applied. You have bubbles all over the place. It's just the wings right here. At least it feels like it's been applied by me, which is I'm not really good at this, but you know, it just doesn't feel too good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I really dig the figure awesome awesome look they, they've done a really good job at just uh, how do you say it? just updating the figure that we've already have from the Armada game there is like three repaints of this the Takara purple one the uh, Energon one that is uh, translu white and green translucent and there's the original Armada one that is uh, purple and gray and green. So, 
yeah, I got the Takara one, per all purple. This one is all purple, so this plays a lot in my heart. <laughs> really love this figure. Now, I know that it's not uh, easy just to obtain the figure alone, but if you have the chance, if you have the original mold, if you're a fan of the game, and if you're a fan of the game, this fight alone must have, you know, implanted in your heart somewhere. It's just such a great fight in the game. Just a great moment, and the figure just, you know, it plays a lot on this, so really freaking cool figure. If you can find it separately, or if you want to have the whole package, would be my guess, but the, the figure alone is worth it. It's just an amazing figure. Um, this, what they've done to the mold is just really great. It's limited, because, you know, Broadway wasn't perfect either. This one is not perfect either, has the same problems, but still a really freaking cool figure really love it just the head alone from uh, the phantom head it's just so damn cool so yeah uh that's pretty much it if you like the video like and subscribe i'm gonna have more stuff coming up soon so yeah thank you for watching see you next time